what is up my beautiful people happy happy thursday happy thursday my lips <sighs> okay i don't know my lips look a little bigger with this lipstick but i have full lips anyways but this lipstick is making them look real full but whatever okay we gotta love ourselves the way god made us okay that's my goal to love myself the way god made me okay as you do too okay what is up my kind souls happy happy thursday as i just said if you guys are not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so what are you waiting for i feel like i should dim this light a little bit because i don't know it's like too bright we're not too bright. It's like, I don't even have a, you know how some of us social media influencers or whatever we have, they use like, um, what is it called? Uh, ring lights. There is no ring light in here. It's, all the lights are off over there. There's one light that is dim. You know, you have those sexy lights that you can like dim. This is one of those and it's very dim and it's giving bright, bright. And this, I don't know, but I, I'm going to leave it as is right now. But if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so right now. Support your girl on this journey that it what always says bigger than me because it is Sally Let's go. Let's go with the messages, okay? Let them curse your name. You said what, Pamela? I said let them curse your name. Let them talk about you. Let them do whatever it is that they want to do. Let them curse your name, God says. Because there is a lot of people who are getting talked about. You haven't spoken to Uncle Joe in a long time. You haven't spoken to your ex-best friend in a long time. You haven't spoken to your ex in a long time. But they can't seem to stop cursing your name. And when I say that, that's a highly, that's a high compliment. Okay? That's a compliment. You want to keep talking about me. You got energy for me. You got that energy for me. Your, your chest swells up for me. For what? Let them curse your name. Let's go. A lot of them are cursing your name, God says, is because you are the one that got away. And I know that typically we put this in the, the a relationship mode, that you are the one that got away. But this is a every, every situation mode. Your family, a lot of your family betrayed you. Your exes betrayed you. Your friends betrayed you. And you are the one that got away. A lot of people are regretting what they did to you. You're the one that got away. So instead of trying to give you your flowers or say I'm sorry, they choose to curse your name behind your back still. Making your name hold weight. Let's go. Many people, the wrong people, think too highly of themselves. A lot of these people are thinking way too highly of themselves. And if you're like me, I want to uplift everybody so that they can think highly of themselves. But there's a difference between being arrogant, okay, and being confident. And a lot of these wicked people are arrogant. They need to stop. They thought leaving you would break you. And yep, it did. A lot of people, we have been broken by people in the way that they have mistreated us. And yes, broken does not mean that you can't be mended. Broken does not mean that you can't be well put back together. Broken means that you are broken, but it can heal. So they left you, they ghosted you, they did all those things to you, right? Thinking that you would break, but they didn't understand that they broke you. Yes, they cracked the code. Yes. To you, they cracked the code. They broke your shell. In order to obtain many good things in life, you got to break through a barrier. You got an egg. You got to. You don't eat the shell. You got to get to that yolk. You got to get to that good, good, that goodness, right? A uterus. A, a woman starts with an egg. Our uterus is is a barrier. The baby is in there. It's a barrier. It's protecting. So all of us had our code broken. We had our shell crack, right? And God says that that code that they had the answer to was the code that you gave them. You see, I gave my enemies the code to break me down. You gave your enemies the code to break you down. So they did just that. But they didn't understand that that was not our true identity. That wasn't our true code. And as I said before in another video, we have been shaped by other people, even our enemies. So they knew how to break us. But when we crack the barrier that we gave them, that we allowed them to, to crack and break us, 
That is when we find ourselves, we are connected to God. We're supposed to be, and we have a code that nobody will ever know but God. Not even ourselves, because sometimes we may get into a rut where we want to be broken because we want to give up. But God says, no, I'm not giving you that code. I know the code. And I also know how strong you are. Let's go. God can present us in so many ways, but once we are presenting the code and walking with the code that he has given us, it's a whole new ball game, a whole new ball game. Whew. It can take us months, years, days, but God will let our shell be broken as many times needed in order for us to get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. God's people will always be the one who got away. We will always be the one who got away. We are somebody. Everybody is somebody. But if you and your if your neighbor don't believe in that and they want to tear you down from thinking that you believe in you yourself, uh-uh. You're somebody. You're watching. You're somebody. And there's probably a lot of people that acted like they, they told you or acted like you were not. Me, I was told so many things that I started to believe about myself. There's people who I love that told me so many things that I started to believe until they finally cracked the code. I became broken. They finally betrayed me and hurt me so much I became broken. The code that they gave me, they got into my life and they broke me. They broke you. And the code that I'm holding now, the code that I have embedded in my body right now that nobody knows, that code belongs to God. And like I said before, when you are your heart, when your body is well kept by God, there is nobody that can, it, it can't get in the hands of nobody but God. All I see, all I feel, all I know is God. That's how I want to be. When you see me, you better see something different. I don't want to look like everybody else in the world in the physical or the spiritual or mental. You don't want to look like everybody else. Let's tap into this more. Almost done. We are nicely preserved, guys. We are nicely preserved. I want you to know that no matter what you have been through, you are always nicely preserved in the inside. Always. We are not perfect. I have done things before in my life. I am not perfect, but I am a good person and I can stand on that. And now I'm walking in alignment so that God can know that I'm trying to be perfect for him. I'm trying. And when he sees us trying and our heart is pure, bam, he's wrapping us tight. So while they curse your name, I want you to always remember that every time these people curse us, they're cursing themselves. Because these people who are wicked and mad at us, they got no reason to be. But we got a lot of reasons to be mad at them, but we don't. Remember that, guys. Remember what I just said in this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.